know some booties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, do yourself a favor, subscribe, hit that bell notification, come join the team, because we get in baddies over here. All right, today's video, let her go. Let her go. Kick her out if you have to. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we be holding on to things and people, relationships, situationships way longer than we need to. We know it's toxic. We know it's not going anywhere. We know it's not benefiting us in the long run, but we just hold on to it because what? We're addicted to it. It's comfortable. It's easy. We already know the person. Why would we want to start something over with somebody else when we're already comfortable with this person we've been with for a year, two years, five years, two months, two weeks, two minutes, I don't know. Whatever it is that made you comfortable in that situation is the reason it's keeping you with them and holding you back from moving on. Okay, but she's not feeling it no more, bruh. She knows it's over with. That connection is just, is just not there. She's probably talking to other dudes. She's definitely talking to other dudes, but you don't wanna, you don't wanna realize that. You don't wanna accept that as a reality because you have this one-itis. You have this beta Billy mindset where you're thinking, nah, she, she's, she's so stuck on me. I'm, I'm still him. She doesn't look at you like that. She did. In the beginning, she was, Damn near obsessed. She was all over you. Couldn't get enough. Telling her girlfriends about you. Shoot, telling her family. You might have met her family. Who knows? You guys built a lot together. It was great times, you know? But guess what? Everything comes in seasons. Now that season's over. Now it's time to move on. It's time to let her go. Now, when you think of letting her go, you're thinking, all right, I gotta let her go and I'm just never in life gonna see her again and it's all over and this and that and you just can't imagine your life without her. Cool, bruh. The craziest thing is when you let her go, when you actually have that energy within you that lets her go, you might have let her go. You might not technically be talking to her. You, you could even be doing no contact. But your energy is so strong. Energy is a real thing. It really goes out into the universe and people feel it. People can hit you up when you mentally just think about them. It's real. It's true. You know what I mean? So if you have the energy where you're thinking about her all the time, you're holding on to, it can still work, it can still work, I hope it still works, this and that, you're holding on tight. It's like a ball of just like toxicity, just clenching onto you, you know? All this hope. You let that go, I'm telling you right now, if you really let it go, magic's gonna happen. She's gonna hit you up. She's going to hit you up, check up on you. She might slowly make her way into your life, you know what I'm saying? She might not just automatically just message you or call you, but she might, you know, like watch your story or something, like a picture, ask a friend about you. Cause she feels that energy that you put out there that you've actually moved on. You actually don't really care anymore. I mean, you could still care about her. You could still want it to work even, but you let go of the outcome. You let go of it has to be her or nothing or no one. You don't feel that way no more. You're good either way. And now she knows and she can feel that you could actually move on and move on without her. And you're cool. And all the negative stuff that happened in the relationship to where it ended up with you breaking up doesn't really matter anymore. She, she's not thinking about that. She's thinking about the positive times, the positive things that you did for her, all the laughs that you guys had, all the inside jokes, all the dates you went on. So now she's probably still going to similar places or you know around the area that you guys hung out and she's thinking about you. She didn't just forget. A lot of times guys you getting these breakups and they think women are just gonna forget about them in a week, two weeks, a month. The more time that goes on, the more she's gonna think about you and the more positive it's gonna be. It's not gonna be as negative because when you break up, it's, it's negative, it's, it's, it's a lot of drama or whatever the reason is you broke up, it's not in a good place. You don't break up because everything's good, <laughs> right? Broke up, stuff was going wrong, and then slowly, it's not there anymore. You guys aren't arguing every day. So now it's like, why is she gonna continue thinking about something negative? She's gonna be thinking about something positive. And then you also put out that energy that you're good either way. You started to focus on yourself. You started getting the gym to distract you. you. Started doing all these positive things to better your life. She's gonna come back around, man. And now you're in a power position to be like, I'm either good off you or we could give it another try, but I'm still good either way. Like if it doesn't work, I'm not gonna be forcing. I'm not gonna be begging you to be back in my life. I'm not gonna hold on to, oh, this this is, this is it. This is the chance to get her back forever. It's, we're gonna be better than before. It's just not, it's cool. It's like, all right, cool, you know, we can hang out. I'm still gonna be hanging out with these girls and be hanging out with my friends. I'm just gonna be doing me. It's not on her time, it's on your time. 
So that's that's the position you want to be in. You want to let her go because even if she doesn't try to come back, it's fine. You're good. You're good either way. You never want someone else controlling how you move in life and how you know you feel, your energy, your your happiness, controlling your happiness because then you'll never be happy. You're you're always letting outside things control your inside vibe, and that's not how you gonna survive. <laughs> it don't work that way because this is how I think about it. It's kind of it's, it's, it's kind of bad. It's like, it's a really negative way to think about it, but it could happen. The person you're with could just suddenly pass away. Hopefully they don't, but hypothetically speaking, they could pass away. You're obviously going to mourn. You're obviously going to go through it. But at some point you have to realize they're never coming back. They're gone forever. So you can either hold on to that pain and try to make things work, but you can't make things work because they're gone and you know that they're gone. So you kind of have to treat the breakup kind of like a death in a, in a weird way. Like they're dead to you, you know? Well, the relationship is dead to you, so you have to act like it is. You have to act like there's no chance of you ever getting back together. That's the best way to get into that energy of letting go, and letting her go, all right? So I know it's hard to let go. I know it's definitely easier said than done, especially when you're going through it. You have a lot of emotions and, um, you know, you're holding on to hope. You were in love, bruh. I get it. You know, we've all been there and you might be there right now, which is probably why you're watching this video. But you gotta realize she could do whatever she wants. You can't control her. She could talk to other dudes, but you can't be worried about that. If you guys had anything real, if you had a connection at all, and for a certain period of time, it's not gonna be easy for her to just move on. She might act like it, but it's fake, it's a facade. She's just literally acting like it. So let her act like it all she wants. She might try to talk to other guys to get over you, but in reality, it's making things worse. If that's her way of trying to heal, she's not really healing. She's not really taking time for herself. So don't stress that. If anything, you should laugh at that and be like, sucks to suck because I know she's going to be used up and tossed out because they don't really care. And you actually, you know, were solid. You were a solid dude and you cared for her. You held it down. And now she's going to have to find out the hard way. And then she's going to try to come crawling back. And you're going to be cool off her. You're going to be like, hey, you wanted to figure out. Well, you found out. Now I'm out. Yeah, man. Let her go. Let her go. Not, uh, you want to text her? You want to call her? You want to pop up? Uh, let her go. That was you, that was us letting her go, okay? Anyways, that is it for the video for the day. Um, I got big announcement coming soon, so be on the lookout. I will be posting more frequently. I'm very excited to get this information out to you guys because a lot of you guys hitting me up. I wanna make sure you guys getting the information that you need. Anyways, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button down below. Also down below, download Winning With Women. And until next time, Focus on you and the women will too. I know some bitties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection.